Hey yo, what's good guys? All right, we are going to do a cash out right now. The homie Dougie hit me up. We are doing a house call. We are going to pull up to the spot, pick up some shoes, do a little buyout, show you guys what we're buying it for, what we're gonna sell it for. I got the homie uh, Bill Kelly with me right now. I'll show you guys him when we get there. Um, but yeah, just wanted to keep putting out content for you guys. The rest of the day today wasn't anything too crazy. So um, opportunity came up, so we're gonna make a video out of it. Stay tuned, check out, uh, we're going to the homie Jacob's house, that's where Dougie lives, and uh, yeah, the house is sick, Dougie's super dope, cool people, so stay tuned. Oh, there he is now. So we're out in front of the house right now. The Escalade's behind me. It's just super dark. Um, we didn't get to film like as the whole buyout, everything in the house. It took too long. We ended up staying there till five in the morning. So now we're finishing the video for you. I think we're just gonna speed up everything else that happened. We're gonna pull everything out right now. I'll show you guys. So this is the aftermath. There was another buyout today, small $300. This other one was like $2,500. We're gonna carry all this stuff inside and then go through it piece by piece, show you guys what it is, what we paid, what's, what we're gonna sell for. All right, what's good guys? We are back at the uh, humble abode uh, at this point. Um, I've got the list of everything we did for the cash out. Now I'm gonna go over it in depth because the video, I, I know I sped it along real quick. There's some music behind it. It was just really long and boring. We, we were at that house, we met up with them at 9.30. No joke, we left at 5.30 a.m. We ended up chilling out by the pool, by the fire, talking, hanging out, discussing business ideas, the quarantine, stuff like that. Um, so, um, not to take up any more time because I don't want this video to be too crazy long. First thing on the list for shoes, off-white Presto, size seven DS. We bought this guy for 500 bucks. Um, this one should be an easy quick flip, GOAT, Stock X, whatever. Um, that one should be easy. It actually, she purchased it from GOAT. So there's the first one. Next, we've got the Human Race. This one was a package deal for the Human Races. There was the Holly, which is this one, the black with the purple. Then there's the white ones some people call it like the africa colorway stuff like that and then there was the blue one um so this one shows a little sign of wear on the bottom it's a little dark on the orange so this one ended up being 80 dollars 
this white one DS ended up being $80. And then the Holly pack, which is the most popular of the three, DS ended up being $200. So $360, I believe it was, for the three human races. Next up from there, we've got the Dunks. So this is kind of like super relevant right now um, in fashion and everything. These are called the Coffee. This one's DS size seven and a half. The production date on these is from, Twenty fourteen, it says. So six years old at this point right now, but you can tell by the box it's not like the super old one. Um, this one was this one was ninety bucks. Then there are technical difficulties. Love it. Then there are these boxes, you know, right off the bat are like an older model. Um, these ones, I forgot what the name was, but they're like black. They almost look like rain spots on the side. Um, these ones were, I think we paid $40 for these. DS, size seven and a half. You guys know SBs are really popular right now. And this was the, the second most expensive shoe, or I guess it would match with the Holly Pack. This one is the Black Levi, size 8 DS. So this one's pretty cool. Should be an easy, quick flip. I think on StockX, lowest ask was like 379 Highest bid was 220 or 200 something like that. Um, but total for all those SBs was 300 300 for the, all three SBs. So I think it was like 170 40 and 70 bucks or something like that. Next up, the Human Race uh, BBC. This one's a size seven and a half. It's DS. This one we paid 160. I believe that was the cash out on StockX. If you guys are into Human Races and stuff like that, you know that this one retails at 250. So I'm gonna put it up for close to retail on StockX or Goad or the website, and then whichever platform it sells first, let it go. We make almost 100 bucks on it. Easy money. Hmm. Next up from there, it's going to be this one. This one's got a sleeve, like a cover on it. Once you take it off, you can see it's the Dragon Ball Z collab with Adidas. This one is the pink one. I don't know anything about Dragon Ball Z, not even going to lie. I'm trying to tell you guys I do. I don't know what character this is or anything. I do know that if you collect them all, the graphic on the side of the box makes like a giant dragon. Um, this one we paid $120 for. Retail was $150. I mean, so we're under retail. It's not like you can just walk in the store and buy these anymore. So shouldn't lose on that. And then next up, 2012 Bread 4 size 7Y. DS, box in good condition, paper, everything's in here. Um, these guys retail were 110. We paid 135. I think we paid still below whatever the cash out was at the time last night whenever we were doing this. Next up is the Puma Diamond. So old school Puma box. It's got the size and like the model number, Diamond Supply, and then on the other side it has the actual label. Retail on these were 110. I am just messing up all over today. So these are like a Tiffany blue, the normal diamond colorway, clean little Pumas. This one is a size US 7 men's. Oh, one label says seven and one label says six. So not really sure there which one we looked up. It says we looked up a size six. Retail was 110. We ended up paying 70 bucks. So almost half off. Then from there, we've got these Converse. They're called Dr. Wu. They've got a little bit special box, like some UV stuff on here. Then you open it up. There's a nice dust bag with two little eyeballs on it. And both the shoes are close to the same, but 
Um, I'll get the camera later and show you some B-roll of some of the nicer shoes, but it's got like almost like yellow bandana print it looks like underneath, and it's coming through in a couple parts. The whole point of this shoe is you to take it, you to take sandpaper to it or whatever, distress it, make it your own. That way you're not walking around looking like somebody else. There's also a couple different versions of yellow laces in here. Cool little collab. Uh, this one retailed at 110. We paid 135 and we paid that much because I think the cash out was um, higher than that. So this was one of the ones that she felt she won on. Next up from the Dr. Wu's Air Max 90. And it is this white and green one. These retailed at $120. We got them size 7 DS, 70 bucks. So this is a cool summer shoe, a runner. This would be something good that if we end up going to sneaker con, you know, out of the country or anything like that, we definitely bring these and they love them. 2013. Shoe's seven years old at this point. You're not gonna find this sitting on the shelf or anything. I mean, we can sell it. Worst case scenario, you sell for retail, you make 50 bucks. After that one, we go to the... All right, these are actually really cool. This, I was, when I opened up the boxes, I was super excited. And then when I looked up the prices, I was not. So these retailed at $70, size seven. There's two of them, the exact same, but they're the Nike Yeezy colorway, Roche Run, Roshi Run, however you guys wanna pronounce it. They're DS, both boxes in really good shape. Um, retail was 70, the cash out on StockX was $32 only. So we ended up paying 60 bucks a pair I know that that's above cash out or whatever, but retail on these guys were 70. We paid under retail. You can't find them anymore. They're old and this colorway is like an instant classic. Everyone loves this colorway every time they see it. Honestly, I think I'll end up getting like $100, $120 per pair on, on these guys. Real spacious. That's that, that's that. After that, it goes to the Reebok Kamikazes. These shoes are kind of crazy. Earlier in the video, they showed you a close up. It looks like water spots on it. Super clean, dope. If you've got style to rock this, maybe like baggy cargo pants, shorts, something like that. But uh, yeah, definitely a cool shoe. That shoe retailed at $100. We paid 50 bucks brand new. Next up, there's a, a Roche run size 8.5 so that's gonna be this one brand new retail was 70 we paid 70 then the size 8 that's gonna be the blue colorway retail 70 we paid 70 their DS and on this one, last but not least, this one's a size seven. This is a black and red one. Same thing, retail 70, we paid 70. All of those shoes are like from early, like 2012, 2013, 2014. So um, we just went ahead and paid retail for those. There was no market, there's no lowest ask, no highest bid. Those ones might be a little harder, but you know, somebody who likes shoes, we kind of like, we bought those for those prices to get the other ones at better prices. That's the whole point of like the bulk, bulk deal. The Ambush Nike necklace, we ended up not taking. The Tag stopwatch, we didn't take. The Leather Supreme waistband, we didn't take. Then it goes to the Supreme Overdive Bean. So that one is going to be... This bag's pretty deep. This one, it's like a, a brown, burnt, rust color we paid thirty dollars for that then it goes to the vortex rain hat this one's like a green and brown cheetah print pretty cool like a fisherman's hat or something that one we paid 45 dollars for then the backpack which is this guy right here it's um i forget it's uh, da, 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 da. 
I didn't write down the season, but we paid seventy five dollars for this because there's no tags. It's still new. We just carry the stuff here in it. But uh, we'll end up putting this to steal on the website or something like that. This we paid seventy five for. Then next it goes to a keychain. This is the Supreme keychain. Kind of hard to see there. It's the same logo as on like the beanies. Um, that one we paid twelve dollars for. Then we've got two of the bouncy balls, brand new in the package. Last but not least from this buyout was the uh, Yeezy Sunday Service. I don't know what you guys call this, a poncho, a t-shirt, a, a table cover, whatever. Um, this guy, retail was 75, cash out was 80. We paid 85. We used to sell these in our, our strip location for like 150, $200 all day long. People actually like this stuff. The quality is really good, um, but Yep, that's gonna sum out, that's the buyout we did last night. Then, that was the girl named Naomi. We walked over to Dougie's room. Dougie's the one who kind of set all this up. And he's like, hey, he had me bring the Supreme bike lights for him. Bike lights for him, you stick it on the front and the back and one lights up white, one lights up red. He's like, hey, I got these Diodoras I wanna get rid of. Um, throw me like 40 bucks and you can have them. And I was like, well, you owe me 40 for the light. And he's like, well, here, boom. So he gave me one pair for the light. And then I bought another crowd from for 40. So this is the first pair. They're this like pink colorway. The name on the box is ice cream. They're actually really clean. Um, if I was a 10 and a half, maybe I could rock this. I don't know. I'm, I'm honestly guessing, but I think retail's like one, 120. Um, I don't see why we wouldn't be able to sell this shoe. So I went ahead and gave him the, gave him the light for that. And then I'll show you guys the other colorway. This box is, isn't in as good of condition but this one is this one's called also called ice cream also size 10 and a half and it's like a, a green colorway pretty dope pretty clean whatever um this one has feature paper i wonder if the boxes are very similar so now this one says feature that one does not it's some sort of collab Whatever, those will go up on the site, cheap, still under retail. Maybe we'll do them for like 60 bucks, nothing crazy. Quick $20 flip. Then my homie, little Charlie hit me up. Uh, this kid has been reselling for a long time and then he'll go and he'll get a bunch of stuff and he flips it really quick. His dad drives a Tesla, he used to have a Ferrari, he used to be in Cirque du Soleil here in Vegas. A lot of cool stuff. But uh, Charlie hit me up last night, but we were doing this buyout so I couldn't go over to him. So I met up with him today and he's like, hey man, can you buy all this stuff, blah, blah, blah. And he gives me his prices. The only thing that I think he was priced a little high on was this. And if you know Supreme, you kind of have an idea of what this one is. This is the Supreme Straw Mac in the red colorway. Um, I'm not gonna open it up unless I decide to keep it, but uh, I paid full market for this guy. But I know if you guys collect, you guys know that this one's kind of harder. A lot of people are keeping it, asking super high prices. But I paid $130 for this guy, this, the red mat. So that, it might go up for sale, but honestly, that one's gonna be over market because I paid market. Um, let's see. I gotta pull up his message so I know exactly what I paid. I don't wanna lie to you guys. Then from there, There's a couple Supreme shirts I've got to locate, but he sold me a, a medium, a, a medium tee for 45, a size small tee for 50, and then he sold me the clear see-through lock for $25, and then the uh, Supreme deck for $50. The other two shirts for 45 and 50 were super fair prices. I think it's he's still below his cash out, but uh, yeah, this is just a couple days of cashing out literally 24 hours technically it, we were just now getting to the kids house last night but 300 bucks with charlie 80 bucks with dougie and then 2452 dollars i actually rounded up for her i ended up giving her 2460 so i don't want to get it wrong on camera so 2460 plus 80 plus 300 2480 cash out nothing crazy this is just kind of like a normal day 
2,840 on Dyslexic. Um, this is kind of like a normal day. I buy this stuff all the time. You guys see all the product behind me. This is, it's nothing. I mean, there's CDG Air Maxes. There's Off-White Dunks. There's Off-White Chicago's. There's, you know, Olive 13s. There's Storm Blue Unions. Like, this stuff behind me is not just, like, crap. It's all good stuff. Um, I'm looking forward to sneaker cons opening back up. That way I can go and I can cash you guys out in person. Come with like the Supreme Louis bum bag and just cash your guys' tables out. Let you guys walk around. Little easy slides, sandals, kids ones, whatever. Um, but I appreciate you guys, you guys watching. If you made it all the way through this, thank you. Hit that thumbs up for me and uh, stay tuned. I got another video coming for you guys tomorrow about all the giveaways and stuff like that.